Namaskara. I am myself Uma Shankrayam, Department of Studies and Research in Chemistry, Karnataka State Open University. And let me congratulate all the students who have opt chemistry in 2022-23 cycle. So here the chemistry is running in choice based credit system in CBCS system and it has four semesters, two year course. So now you are joining for a first semester, first year. So in the first year, you have five courses in that three hardcore and one soft core and one practical. In the practical, we have divided into two part. One is analytical, practical and inorganic practical. So out of four theory, three are hardcore. Hardcore means essential for a MSc chemistry and soft core means is an additional course for MSc chemistry. In the hardcore, we have inorganic chemistry one, organic chemistry one and physical chemistry one. In the soft core, we have analytical chemistry one. In this, there is no choice for first and second semester courses. So in the second semester also, we have a three hardcore, inorganic chemistry two, organic chemistry two, and physical chemistry two. In the second semester, we have introduced molecular spectroscopy as a soft core paper. So in the second semester, we have a practical in the physical chemistry and organic chemistry. So while admitting a first year, you have to read all the papers because there is no choice. When you admitting a second year, means third semester, in that there are two hardcore paper in that you must read or you must study. But you have a four soft core paper in that four, you have to opt any two courses. So you have a two choice there. So in that hardcore, we have spectroscopy one, in that organic molecular spectroscopy, we are going to study and bio inorganic and bio physical chemistry as an another hardcore paper. In the soft core, we have advanced inorganic chemistry, advanced organic chemistry, advanced physical chemistry. These are the three papers and one more analytical techniques. So out of these four soft core papers, we have to choose any two. So suppose some may have more interested in studying inorganic, you can apt inorganic as a soft core paper in the third semester. And one more, if you have a physical or organic, you can choose that way. So in the third semester, we have, once again, two practicals, analytical chemistry two and inorganic chemistry two. So in the fourth semester, you have additional four soft core papers. We have one more choice as a dissertation. In that dissertation, you have to carry out research in your suitable places and you have to submit your report. So many people don't have facilities for carrying out a dissertation work. For them, we have a choice. So in the fourth semester, the structure is two compulsory hardcore papers.
hardcore this is one paper which is a spectroscopy two in that you are going to study a spectroscopy of inorganic compounds and the second hardcore paper is bio organic chemistry so in the soft core we have a four papers special inorganic chemistry special organic chemistry special physical chemistry and along with one more paper is a material chemistry so suppose people we are recommending in such a way that if you opt inorganic chemistry as a soft core in third semester please continue the inorganic chemistry in the fourth semester also so that you will become a specialist for a one part of the chemistry so it's not advisable to take inorganic chemistry in third semester and material science in fourth semester like that because when you go into any particular job if you are master in subject means you should continuously study the one of the special area so like that if you have a specialty for doing a research so you can opt you can opt dissertation as a part of your msc degree so who are opting dissertation you can take one soft core and dissertation so if you are not able to do a dissertation then instead of dissertation you can take one more additional soft core so we have a choice for both doing a research as well as without doing research also so one of the advantage for taking a dissertation is when you going to apply for industrial job you have a better option if you take a dissertation as a part of your paper in fourth semester but is not advisable who are already working as a teachers or in some other uh, places so if you are not able to give a time for a research so please take one more additional as a soft theory paper as a soft core and don't take dissertation as in your optional subject so regarding examination the term and examination are two types one is practical and another is theory so practical examination is taking care by our department itself and the term and examination is taking care by our examination section so we are going to create a whatsapp group for a people who are joining a msc courses in 2023 22 cycle so it will be soon announce the whatsapp group in that we will put a very information regarding your assignment practical classes practical examination and theory examination and all so practical classes is conducted 12 days in each semester so right now we have a lab specialty at ksoi only so people are requested to come for a mysur while conducting a practical classes the time table and timings of practical classes will be announced in the group in well advance so that if people are working you can make necessary arrangement and no need to worry about your staying on other things because ksoyu will provide hostel facilities for all the students who are coming for a practical classes for that we have a separate guest house department you can contact early you can book your rooms and everything so because right now we don't have a choice to conduct practical classes in other part of the mysore so if that facilities is available then we will inform you but right now we have to come to the mysore only for your practical classes for 12 days attendance is compulsory for practical classes whoever not coming the classes are not allowed to taking a practical examination for theory classes we are going to conduct in online mode so we will put a time table and all the classes are streamed in either teachmate app or google scholar app so that it will be recorded and you can watch either live classes or you can record the classes and you can watch after 
whenever you got a free time so whatever the doubts you have there in the subject you can directly ask in the classroom itself or you can text in the group message or you can directly call to the department faculties so we will answer your queries all the times no problem no need to hesitate the asking the doubts about subject so please contact directly department for any practical classes on practical examination issue and the theory examination is taking care by our examination department so that department will not have any role in the theory examination so if you have any doubts in theory examination please contact the examination section so regarding your annual exam you have 80 number in theory paper and 20 number in internal assignment mark the internal assignment question will be posted in the group and the address which you are going to send the internal assignment and the last date of the assignment everything will be informed in the group so that please submit your internal assessment in the particular cycle only so if you are not able to submit the particular cycle then your internal marks will not be added in later words you can take your theory exam or practical exam even in the later stage but your internal ex examination marks will be only added in the particular cycle only that's why please send your insert even though you are not prepare for writing a exam it's no matter if you have if you have a four year time you can write in exam at any time but you should submit your internal exam paper internal exam assignment at the particular time only and out of 80 marks you have to score 32 minimum and 8 in internal assignment so that total 40 will be the passing marks for your theory paper suppose if you are not submitting the internal assignment then you have to score 40 in the theory paper itself otherwise even though if you score 38 you will consider as a fail in that paper that's why please submit your internal assignment questions as particular semester itself so that it will be added for a all that time otherwise you will going to lose your 20 marks so you have to score 40 in your theory paper and then examination theory examination will be conducted around 24 center all over the karnataka so that you no need to come to mysore for writing a theory exams but for practical classes and practical exam you should come to the mysore itself so after the practical exam we will immediately uh, classes we will immediately conduct the practical exam so that you no need to come to mysore once again just for writing a practical exam that's why attendance is compulsory for practical examination so practical exam will be conducted for a two papers out of two 50 paper each in that 50 40 is your exam experiments and 10 is in your viva so out of 40 you have to score 25 and there is no minimum for viva that's out of two papers there are 100 numbers in the practical which will appear in your marks card and for any doubts regarding your slm and your a practical you can directly call to the faculty with the phone numbers are available at website or hod number that is also available in the website so practical while coming to the practical you no need to bring any extra just bring two records that's enough the practical experiments we will decide whenever your classes are started so that's why we are not providing manual for that because each time the experimental condition and instrument av availability 
based on that we will design a experiment and we will conduct the practical classes. So, before appearing to the practical exam everybody should submit your record whatever you conducted in the practical classes. After that only you are allowed to write the practical examination. So, this all about your MSc courses and if you have any more information you want you can call chief department chairperson Dr. M. Uma Shankara. My number is 948-251-0061. Thank you.